Inmarsat PLC LSE, ISAT, is a British satellite telecommunications company, offering global mobile services. It provides telephone and data services to users worldwide, via portable or mobile terminals which communicate with ground stations through 13 geostationary telecommunications satellites. Inmarsat's network provides communication services to a range of governments, aid agencies, media outlets and businesses especially in the shipping, airline and mining industries with a need to communicate in remote regions or where there is no reliable terrestrial network. The company is listed on the London Stock Exchange, is a constituent of the FTSE 250 Index, and is a financial and technical sponsor of Telecoms Sans Frontières. History Origins <inaudible> 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 The present company originates from the International Maritime Satellite Organization Inmarsat, a non-profit intergovernmental organization established in 1979 at the behest of the International Maritime Organization IMO. The United Nations Maritime Body and pursuant to the Convention on the International Maritime Satellite Organization, signed by 28 countries in 1976. The organization was created to establish and operate a satellite communications network for the maritime community. In coordination with the International Civil Aviation Organization in the 1980s, the convention governing Inmarsat was amended to include improvements to aeronautical communications, notably for public safety. The member states owned varying shares of the operational business. The main offices were originally located in the Euston Tower, Euston Road, London. Privatization In the mid-1990s, many member states were unwilling to invest in improvements to INMARSAT's network, especially owing to the competitive nature of the satellite communications industry, while many recognized the need to maintain the organization's older systems and the need for an intergovernmental organization to oversee public safety aspects of satellite communication networks. In 1998, an agreement was reached to modify INMARSAT's mission as an intergovernmental organization and separate and privatize the organization's operational business, with public safety obligations attached to the sale. In April 1999, Inmarsat was succeeded by the International Mobile Satellite Organization as an intergovernmental regulatory body for satellite communication communications, while INMARSAT's operational unit was separated and became the UK-based company Inmarsat Ltd. The IMSO and Inmarsat Ltd. signed an agreement imposing public safety obligations on the new company. Inmarsat was the first international satellite organization that was privatized. In 2005, Apex Partners and Permira bought shares in the company. The company was also first listed on the London Stock Exchange in that year. In March 2008, it was disclosed that U.S. hedge fund Harbinger Capital owned 28% of the company. In 2009, Inmarsat completed the acquisition of satellite communications provider Stratos Global Corporation Stratos and acquired a 19% stake in Skywave Mobile Communications Inc., a provider of Inmarsat D+, ISAT M2M network services which in turn purchased the GlobalWave business from Transcore. 
Inmarsat won the 2010 Macrobit Award for its Broadband Global Area Network service. Inmarsat at first provided services using Marisat and MARECS, which were launched by the U.S. Navy and ESA respectively. In the early 1990s, Inmarsat launched its first dedicated satellite constellation, Inmarsat 2. These satellites provided the Inmarsat A service for maritime uses. Between 1996 and 1998, Inmarsat's second constellation, Inmarsat 3, was launched. Consisting of five geostationary L band satellites, the constellation provides the Inmarsat B and Inmarsat C services, primarily providing low bandwidth communications and safety services for global shipping. Following privatization in 1999, Inmarsat developed and launched the first satellite communications system offering global coverage, BGAN. This service was provided initially through the three Inmarsat 4 satellite launched between 2005 and 2008, and was then extended with the addition of Alphazar in 2013. In the 2010s Inmarsat began development of the High Throughput Satellite HTS constellation Global Express, operating in the car band portion of the spectrum. Global Express, launched in 2015, offers global satellite capacity to various markets including shipping and aviation. Global Express also marks a significant expansion of Inmarsat's commercial operations in the aviation markets. In 2017 Inmarsat launched its first S-band satellite, intended to provide in association with an LTE ground network in-flight Internet access across Europe. In March 2018, Inmarsat partnered with Isotropic Systems to develop a state-of-the-art, all-electronic scanning antenna intended to be used with the Global Express Network. On the 20th of September 2018, Inmarsat announced its strategic collaboration with Panasonic Avionics Corporation for an initial 10-year period to provide in-flight broadband for commercial airlines. Inmarsat will be the exclusive provider of Panasonic for connectivity using the car band satellite signal. Inmarsat will now be offering Panasonic's portfolio of services and next solutions to its commercial aviation customers. <laughs> <laughs> Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 In March 2014, Malaysia Airlines Flight 370 disappeared with 239 passengers and crew en route from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing. After turning away from its planned path and disappearing from radar coverage, the aircraft's satellite data unit remained in contact with Inmarsat's ground station in Perth via the IOR satellite Indian Ocean Region, 64 degrees east. The aircraft used Inmarsat's classic aero service, which does not provide explicit information about the aircraft's location. Analysis of these communications by Inmarsat and independently by other agencies determined that the aircraft flew into the southern Indian Ocean and was used to guide the search for the aircraft. <laughs> <laughs> Operations The Inmarsat head office is at Old Street Roundabout in the London Borough of Islington. Aside from its commercial services, Inmarsat provides Global Maritime Distress and Safety Services GMDSS to ships and aircraft at no charge. As a public service, services include traditional voice calls, low level data tracking systems, and high speed Internet and other data services as well as distress and safety services. 
The BGAN network provides GPRS type services at up to 800 kilobits per second via an IP satellite modem the size of a notebook computer, while the Global Express network offers up to 50 megabits per second via antennas as small as 60 centimeters. Other services provide Mobile Integrated Services Digital Network ISDN services used by the media for live reporting on world events via videophone, and in flight Internet access via the European Aviation Network. The price of a call via InMarsat has now dropped to a level where they are comparable to, and in many cases lower than, international roaming costs, or hotel phone calls. Voice call charges are the same for any location in the world where the service is used. Tariffs for calls to Inmarsat country codes vary, depending on the country in which they are placed. Inmarsat primarily uses country code 870 Newer Inmarsat services use an IP technology that features an always-on capability where the users are only charged for the amount of data they send and receive, rather than the length of time they are connected. In addition to its own satellites, Inmarsat has a collaboration agreement with ACES regarding handheld voice services. Coverage There are three types of coverage related to each Inmarsat I-4 satellite. Global beam coverage Each satellite is equipped with a single global beam that covers up to one-third of the Earth's surface, apart from the poles. Overall, global beam coverage extends from latitudes of minus 82 to plus 82 degrees regardless of longitude. Regional spot beam coverage Each regional beam covers a fraction of the area covered by a global beam, but collectively all of the regional beams offer virtually the same coverage as the global beams. Use of regional beams allow user terminals also called mobile earth stations to operate with significantly smaller antennas. Regional beams were introduced with the I-3 satellites. Each I-3 satellite provides 4 to 6 spot beams, each I-4 satellite provides 19 regional beams, narrow spot beam coverage, Narrow beams are offered by the three Inmarsat 4 satellites. Narrow beams vary in size, tend to be several hundred kilometers across. The narrow beams, while much smaller than the global or regional beams, are far more numerous and hence offer the same global coverage. Narrow spot beams allow yet smaller antennas and much higher data rates. They form the backbone of Inmarsat's handheld GSPS and broadband services BGAN. This coverage was introduced with the I-4 satellites. Each I-4 satellite provides around 200 narrow spot beams. Global Express I-5, the Inmarsat I-5 satellites provide global coverage using four geostationary satellites. Each satellite supports 89 beams, giving a total coverage of approximately one-third of the Earth's surface per satellite. In addition, six steerable beams are available per satellite, which may be moved to provide higher capacity to selected locations. <laughs> satellites. topic country codes The permanent telephone country code for calling in Marsat destinations is 870 SNAC single network access code the 870 number is an automatic locator it is not necessary to know to which satellite the destination in Marsat terminal is logged in SNAC is now usable by all Inmarsat services. 
Country codes phased out on 31 December 2008 were 871 Atlantic Ocean Region, East 872 Pacific Ocean Region 873 Indian Ocean Region 874 Atlantic Ocean Region, West Networks InMarsat has developed a series of networks providing certain sets of services most networks support multiple services. They are grouped into two sets, existing and evolved services, and advanced services. Existing and evolved services are offered through Land Earth stations which are not owned nor operated by InMarsat, but through companies which have a commercial agreement with InMarsat. Advanced services are provided via distribution partners but the satellite gateways are owned and operated by InMarsat directly. <laughs> High throughput services Global Express, since 2015 InMarsat has offered high throughput services through the Global Express network. This service provides an IP-based global service of up to 50 megabits per second downlink and 5 megabits per second uplink. Services are provided for maritime, aviation, government and enterprise markets. Global Express is supported by the existing BGANL band network, and services are offered using a combination of the two networks to increase availability and reliability. In March 2018, InMarsat partnered with Isotropic Systems to develop all electronic scanning antenna intended to be used with the Global Express network. European Aviation Network – InMarsat is also planning to offer aviation services through the European Aviation Network, developed in partnership with Deutsche Telekom. The European Aviation Network uses a ground-based LTE network and an InMarsat S-band satellite to provide 50 gigabits per second capacity to aircraft in European airspace. The project faces a number of legal and regulatory challenges. In March 2018, InMarsat stated that commercial service would begin in 2018. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Advanced Services. The BGAN family is a set of IP-based shared carrier services, as follows BGAN – Broadband Global Area Network for use on land. BGAN uses the I-4 satellites to offer a shared channel IP packet switched service of up to 800 kilobits per second uplink and downlink speeds may differ and depend on terminal model and a streaming IP service from 32 kilobits per second up to extreme data rate services depend on terminal model. Most terminals also offer circuit-switched mobile ISDN services at 64 kilobits per second and even low speed 4.8 kilobits per second voice etc services. BGAN service is available globally on all I4 satellites. Fleet Broadband FB, a maritime service, Fleet Broadband is based on BGAN technology, offering similar services and using the same infrastructure as BGAN. A range of Fleet Broadband user terminals are available, designed for fitting on ships. Swift Broadband SB, an aeronautical service, Swift Broadband is based on BGAN technology and offers similar services. SB terminals are specifically designed for use aboard commercial, private, and military aircraft. 
Topic M2M Communications The BGAN M2M family is a set of IP-based services designed for long-term machine-to-machine management of fixed assets, as follows, BGAN M2M, which was launched at the beginning of January 2012, will deliver a global, IP-based low data rate service, for users needing high levels of data availability and performance in permanently unmanned environments. Ideally suited for high-frequency, very low-latency data reporting, BGAN M2M will prove extremely attractive for monitoring fixed assets such as pipelines and oil well heads, or backhauling electricity consumption data within a utility. ISATM 2M, ISATM 2M is a global, short burst data, store and forward service that will deliver messages of 10.5 or 25.5 bytes in the send direction, to 100 bytes in the receive direction. The service is delivered to market via two partners, Skywave Mobile Communications and Honeywell Global Tracking. Each has its own solutions to integrate the service into customers' infrastructure. ISAT Data Pro ISAT Data Pro is a global satellite data service designed for two way text and data communications with remote assets and has the capability to exchange large amounts of data quickly to mobile, 10K bytes, from mobile, 6.4K bytes with typical delivery time at 15 seconds. This service is used in mission critical applications and is used in everything from managing trucks, fishing vessels and oil and gas and heavy equipment, to text message remote workers and security applications. It is provided by Skywave Mobile Communications Inc., now part of Orbcom. Topic: <laughs> Global Voice Services. The company offers portable and fixed phone services as follows ISAT Phone 2 – ISAT Phone 2 is Inmarsat's own designed and manufactured robust mobile satellite phone, offering clear voice telephony. It also comes with a variety of data capabilities, including SMS, short message emailing and GPS lookup and send, as well as supporting a data service of up to 20 kilobits per second. ISAT Phone Link – ISAT Phone Link is a low-cost, fixed, global satellite phone service. It provides essential voice connectivity for those working or living in areas without cellular coverage and also comes with a variety of data capabilities. Fleetphone – Inmarsat's Fleetphone service is a fixed phone service ideal for use on smaller vessels where voice communications is the primary requirement or on vessels where additional voice lines are needed. It provides a low-cost, global satellite phone service option for those working or sailing outside cellular coverage. Topic existing and evolved services They are based on older technologies, as follows, Aeronautical Classic Aero, provides analog voice, fax, data services for aircraft. Three levels of terminals, Aero L low gain antenna primarily for packet data including ACARS and ADS, Aero H high gain antenna for medium quality voice and fax, data at up to 9600 bit, S, and Aero I intermediate gain antenna for low quality voice and fax, data at up to 2400 bit, S. Note, there are also aircraft rated versions of Inmarsat C and Mini M, M4. The aircraft version of GAN is called Swift 64. See below. Inmarsat B, service was closed early January 2017. It provided digital voice services, telex services, medium speed fax, data services at 9.6 kilobits per second and high speed data services at 56, 64 or 128 kilobits per second. 
There was also a leased mode for Inmarsat B available on the spare Inmarsat satellites. Inmarsat C, effectively this is a satellite telex terminal with low speed all digital transmission bit rate 1200 bit s and information bit rate of 600 bit s store and forward polling etc capabilities. Certain models of Inmarsat C terminals are also approved for usage in the GMDSS system, equipped with GPS. Inmarsat M provides voice services at 4.8 kilobits per second and medium speed fax data services at 2.4 kilobits per second. It paved the way towards Inmarsat Mini M. Service has been closed. Mini M provides voice services at 4.8 kilobits per second and medium speed fax data services at 2.4 kilobits per second. One 2.4 kilobits per second channel takes up 4.8 kilobits per second on the satellite. Service was closed early January 2017. GAN Global Area Network provides a selection of low speed services like voice at 4.8 kilobits per second, fax and data at 2.4 kilobits per second, ISDN like services at 64 kilobits per second called mobile ISDN and shared channel IP packet switched data services at 64 kilobits per second called mobile Mobile Packet Data Service or MPDS, formerly Inmarsat Packet Data Service, IPDS. GAN is also known as M4. Service was closed early in January 2017. Fleet, actually a family of networks that includes the Inmarsat Fleet 77, Inmarsat Fleet 55 and Inmarsat Fleet 33 members the numbers 77, 55 and 33 come from the diameter of the antenna in centimeters. Much like GAN, it provides a selection of low speed services like voice at 4.8 kilobits per second, fax, data at 2.4 kilobits per second, medium speed services like fax, data at 9.6 kilobits per second, ISDN like services at 64 kilobits per second called mobile ISDN and shared channel IP packet switched data services at 64 kilobits per Second called Mobile Packet Data Service or MPDS, see below. However, not all these services are available with all members of the family. The latest service to be supported is Mobile ISDN at 128 kilobits per second on Inmarsat Fleet 77 terminals. Swift 64, similar to GAN, providing voice, low rate fax, data, 64 kilobits per second ISDN, and MPDS services, for private, business, and commercial aircraft. Swift 64 is often sold in a multi channel version, to support several times 64 kilobits per second. Inmarsat D, D+, ISATM2M, Inmarsat's version of a pager, although much larger than terrestrial versions. Some units are equipped with GPS. The original Inmarsat D terminals were one-way pagers. The newer Inmarsat D Plus terminals are the equivalent of a two-way pager. The main use of this technology nowadays is in tracking trucks and buoys and SCADA applications. MPDS Mobile Packet Data Service, previously known as IPDS, this is an IP-based data service in which several users share a 64 kilobits per second carrier in a manner similar to ADSL. MPDS specific terminals are not sold, rather, this is a service which comes with most terminals that are designed for GAN, Fleet, and Swift 64. ISATPHONE provides voice services at 4.8 kilobits per second and medium speed fax data services at 2.4 kilobits per second. 
This service emerged from a collaboration agreement with ACES, and is available in the EMEA and APAC satellite regions. Coverage is available in Africa, the Middle East, Asia, and Europe, as well as in maritime areas of the EMEA and APAC coverage. New projects underway European Aviation Network On 30 June 2008, the European Parliament and the Council adopted the Europeans' decision to establish a single selection and authorization process ESAP, European S-band application process to ensure a coordinated introduction of mobile satellite services MSS in Europe. The selection process was launched in August 2008 and attracted four applications by prospective operators ICO, Inmarsat, Solaris Mobile, now Ecostar Mobile, Terrestar. In May 2009, the European Commission selected two operators, Inmarsat Ventures and Solaris Mobile, giving these operators the right to use the specific radio frequencies identified in the Commission's decision and the right to operate their respective mobile satellite systems. EU member states now have to ensure that the two operators have the right to use the specific radio frequencies identified in the Commission's decision and the right to operate their respective mobile satellite systems for 18 years from the selection decision. The operators are compelled to start operations within 24 months May 2011 from the selection decision. Inmarsat's S-band satellite program will deliver mobile multimedia broadcast, mobile two-way broadband telecommunications and next-generation MSS services across all member states of the European Union and as far east as Moscow and Ankara by means of a hybrid satellite terrestrial network. It was built by Thales Alenia Space and launched in 2017. The complementary ground network consists of around 300 LTE base stations constructed by Deutsche Telekom. The European Aviation Network faces a number of legal challenges. This includes a challenge from Viasat alleging unfair bidding practices and a misuse of spectrum and a ruling by the Belgian telecommunications regulator revoking permission for the use of the ground network in Belgium. <laughs> <laughs> Global Express Expansion Inmarsat has ordered a fifth Global Express satellite from Thales Group. The satellite, planned for launch in 2019, has been described as a very high throughput satellite, and is expected to provide services to the Middle East, India and Europe. CEO Rupert Pierce has also indicated that Inmarsat is planning further expansion of the Global Express network in the future. Trials of new technologies have demonstrated bandwidths of 330 megabits per second over the existing Global Express network, far in excess of the currently marketed 50 megabits per second. Topic: <laughs> Inmarsat 6. At the end of 2015 Inmarsat ordered two sixth-generation satellites from Airbus. These satellites will offer both CAR and L-band payloads and will provide additional capacity to the existing BGAN and Global Express networks. In 2017 it was announced that the first of these satellites will be launched by MHI in 2020. Iris and ICE Inmarsat is participating in two ESA Artes programs, Iris and ICE
IRIS is a project to improve tracking of aircraft, and to improve communications between aircraft and air traffic controllers. InMarsat will provide high-capacity satellite communications links for aircraft, and improve detection of aircraft locations in time and space. ICE InMarsat Communications Evolution is a partnership with industrial partners intended to identify innovative technologies and solutions that can expand and enhance the capabilities of the next generation of satellite communications. Topic Issues In Marsat and Iridium frequency bands abut each other at 1626.5 MHz thus each SATCOM radio has the ability to interfere with the other. Usually, the far more powerful InMarsat radio disrupts the Iridium radio up to 10 to 800 meters away. Topic. See also Mobile satellite service Satellite phone Aeromobile DVBSH Globalstar Globalsat Group Intersputnik Iridium Communications Librastream Maritime Safety Information O3B Networks On-Air Telecommunications Orbcom Radio Telephone Says Broadband for Maritime Sky and Space Global Thuraya Wideband Global Satcom WGS